Okay, tally ho folks. This is uh, Grenade Mentality Works and what are valve keepers and how do they work? Uh, this is the valve. This particular one is an intake valve. How about that? Alright, it can be an intake or exhaust. On the bottom of the valve stem you will find a groove cut into it. This little notch goes all the way around. That's a groove. And then valve keepers keep the spring, the spring would be uh, on top of here and I should have got one of those, but uh, uh, you want to keep the spring from pushing this washer off the bottom. So you use what's called keepers. Now it, you, it's hard to see, but that is actually tapered, a tapered hole. Like it's tapered on the outside, it's tapered on the inside. And that is so it would wedge two halves of like another nut or disc that has a groove in the center of it. And you see how that groove matches up with that groove on, on the valve. Uh, make sure I'm doing this in the focal range. Uh, anyhow, it matches up and holds tight that way. If you put a second half of it together, like that, it makes a full circle. And that full circle, that wedge there, matches up real close to the wedge that's on the inside of the valve end cap. So that prevents, by, by these, these two locking into that groove. They can't slide off. They can't slide off. They're matched up here. Now that will keep that spring from sliding off of the valve. And it will be able to work in the engine. As long as tension's kept against this, it's not going to come apart. Whenever you take them apart, you compress the spring, which pulls the tension off, and then you're able to take these off. Then you can take this off and the spring will come off. Okay, uh, anyhow, that is a valve, uh, valve spring retrain retainers. And that is what it looks like without the valve in it. The two halves. Ta-da! There you go. Those are valve spring retainers. And, oh, by the way, little little mechanics assembly trick. If you take a little grease, let's see if I can get this off, a little grease, and you put it on the insides of these retainers, just that much, whoop, oh well, there went one. By the way, always keep a few of those extra for your job, because <laughs> if you drop one, because I already dropped one over there, honey's fishing for it with a magnet. Uh, that will hold that in place while you get the other one in place. A little bit, a little dab will do you, just like the old hair cream. And that will hold that on so you can, until you release the tension on the spring and it comes up inside. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's how you keep them in place while you're trying to get things assembled. Anyhow, that is what I, I wanted to show you. And I found the one I dropped back in the cleaner. All right, uh, on we go to the next part. Oh, I've already set in all the valve guides down through here. I've also uh, gone ahead and uh, put new faces on all the valves, uh, valve seats, reseated them, I guess that, yeah, that's what you call it, reseating it, and uh, I'm about to start putting the valves into the block now. Uh, I, well first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hone, get cross hatch the cylinders. Uh, there's no real honing uh, needed. 
these things are, are in such beautiful shape. I don't, and only two thousandths wear. I don't want to go over to the three thousandths uh, ring set yet. I wanted to use a standard set, so I'm just going to do a little quick cross hatch on it, and the cylinders will be good. Put the valve in, drop in the cylinder, uh, the pistons, and some new bearings on them, and we'll have this engine going in no time. All right. Uh, tally ho and on to the next segment.